What's up guys, Austin back with another rowing video. Now today we're gonna talk about the subtle mistake that you might be making that is killing your rowing performance. Now, I'm gonna play a clip of me doing this subtle mistake. Can you pinpoint what it is? Oh, did you see the issue there? So what this issue comes down to is what we call opening up early, opening up with our body. Now, we've said it time and time again on this channel that the stroke sequence is legs followed by the body or the core and then finishing with the arms. Now this stroke sequence can break down here at the front end or the catch of the stroke by leaning back with our body early. Now, why does that necessarily cause problems? Well, there's a couple reasons, but we're gonna start off with what that does to our leg drive. So, the legs make up the majority of the rowing stroke. Doesn't matter who you are, really, your legs will always be stronger than your arms, than your body. So, emphasizing a solid, strong leg drive is key to a good stroke. Now, when our bodies open up early, whether it's just a small open up early or really exaggerated open up early, what that does is that messes up our foot position. So when we take the rowing stroke regularly, usually if there's any heel lift, there is a slight heel lift at the front. Some people row with feet flat on the footboards. That debate is still sort of there. It's not necessarily one way or the other. You can look at different professional rowers and everyone rows a little bit differently as far as how much the heels come up. But when we open up early, what this causes us to do is as we open up, if we're opening up swinging back with our body before we drive with the legs, due to flexibility issues in our legs, if we lean back before we start the leg drive, we get an exaggerated lift of the heels. Opening up with our body early lifts our heels up so much that we end up pressing off of just the balls of our feet. Now I want you to do a little test experiment. Go ahead and stand up and squat down, sitting back in your hips for a low squat, but squat on the balls of your feet only and come back up. How weak does that feel? Probably doesn't feel as strong as if you press down with most, if not all of your feet on the ground. So that is one of the big issues. As we come up onto the toes by leaning back before the legs drive, we're pressing all of our leg force through the balls of our feet and our toes, which is severely limiting the amount of power you can produce with your legs. So opening up early is really hindering your legs' ability to press with full power. But let's take a look at what it does for our upper body as well. So this problem of opening up early also affects the ability of our upper body to transfer the momentum and power generated by the leg drive. And so I've got some resistance bands here to help simulate what I'm trying to talk about. So let's say you load up a lot of resistance on these bands right here. And we're trying to row the handles in for as many reps as we possibly can through any means necessary, as many reps as possible. Which position is gonna be a stronger position? If we lean back, from here with arms extended and start rowing in, you know, we can get some reps in, depending on how strong you are, depending on the resistance, but you would be able to get in many more repetitions if we allowed our body to swing back and row. Swing back and pull. We're using the action of our hips, our hamstrings, our glutes to extend our hips and swing backwards and then finish with the arms. No matter what the resistance was, you can get many more reps with that resistance by getting that swing and that pull with the arms. Much more than if you just leaned back and pulled with the arms on their own. So you can imagine while opening up early while taking the rowing strokes, you're essentially setting yourself for that leaned back position. Overall making your upper body contribute a lot less and in a bad way to the rowing stroke. Whereas if we hold our stroke form properly, we're allowing ourselves to transfer the momentum generated with the legs to swing through the hips and pull with the arms to finish. And that way we're using our arms as little as possible, but we're able to transfer 
a ton of stroke power. But this goes completely away if your upper body opens up and you're just pulling with the arms after the leg drive. And with each rowing stroke that we try to take, we want to try to generate as much power as we can and be able to transfer the power generated with the legs and pull that into the handle using the leg drive, swinging back and letting the arms be the finisher. We want to try to make it one smooth, strong motion. And by opening up early, that doesn't happen. So there's no question about it. Opening up with your body early, even just a little bit, is severely hindering your rowing performance. So if you're someone who does this, how do we fix it? Well, there's a great drill that you can practice to help you emphasize keeping the body forward until the legs are pressed and then you swing backwards with the body and core pulling with the arms. And what we can do is we can do what's called the reverse pick drill. Now the reverse pick drill, what this is, is you break the stroke down into three components. You start the pick drill by sitting at the catch, compressed, leaning forward with the body, arms fully extended. The first part of the pick drill is driving with legs only. So you're pressing with the legs, but keeping your forward body angle and your arms straight. Driving with the legs, thinking about carrying the handle. Every inch the seat moves, the handle comes with it. Driving those legs. And after that first minute of legs only, then let's implement the legs and body. So we drive the legs, then swing back. Come back, core first. Legs, core, core, legs. Then to finish off the drill after a minute of legs and body, you're gonna finish with the full stroke sequence, letting the arms be the finisher. And by doing that, by practicing that before your workout, before you know your main rowing effort for the day, that is gonna emphasize the stroke sequence and that is gonna help you keep your forward body angle until the legs press down and allow you to get the most out of your leg drive and carry that momentum through, through the body swing and the pull with the arms. So you can get the absolute most out of each rowing stroke. So even if you don't think you swing open early, a lot of people do, and even just a little bit kills the overall stroke momentum. So practice that reverse pick drill before your next workout and see if that helps you take a more efficient stroke. All right, guys, thanks again for watching the video. Really appreciate the support. The channel has hit over 4,000 subscribers, and I couldn't have done it without the help of you guys. So thank you so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys for the next video.